So recently there was a request to do the old gens laddering again, and I was like, well, a lot of people really didn't like uh, watching RBY and GSC, but they liked the others. And I really love Oris, so it is now gens 3 through 6. So, crew, yeah, I, I tried to say cool and groovy at the same time and failed. And we are starting with the Oris ladder because I have never been on it. Uh, since it became an old generation, and I hear it's wild. So I, I'm already seeing some interesting stuff here. I'm just gonna lead off with Thunderous because Thunderous destroys everything. Uh, maybe not Chandelure, and I don't really have a Ghost Resist, so I'm just gonna T-Wave it and hope it works. Because Prankster T-Wave is really good. Alright, well, that's a start. Now we'll go to Manaphy and Tail Glow, and yeah, Tail Glow destroys everything. Cool. Yeah, um, this Thunderous is named after uh, an incredible movie, and uh, Manaphy couldn't have its entire uh, title fit in its nickname because of the 18 character limit, but it is also named after an incredible movie, the full title of which is Pastoral to Die in the Country. Amazing stuff. I also, uh, like several months ago, I thought I was going to do more laddering videos, and so I opened up a channel uh, on my Discord server, link in the description. Uh, there's no way this is fat. Yeah. Oh, okay, maybe. But whatever, it's gonna die anyway. Leave me alone. And no way it's gonna be Sash. That, it's Bandit. Oh, Life Orb. Wow, maybe I underestimated Leovanny. Whatever, I'll healing wish this thing later. So it's got, it's got a lot of bulk to it. Anyway, I didn't think, I thought I was gonna do more laddering videos than I didn't because, um, I hate laddering. Uh, which I'm sure I'll be reminded of very quickly. But yeah, I opened up this channel on my Discord server, link in the description, for, uh, because, you know, old gen uh, ladders tend to not be the most active things in the world. And uh, this is going to be slower, I guarantee it's going to be some rest stuff, and I can just do that. Wonderful. Uh, offensive Suicune in my first Oris uh, ladder match, no. In Gen 6, <laughs> absolutely not. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I thought, oh, if the ladder is going to be inactive, or the multiple ladders, this is another reason to not do, uh, to not include RBY and GSC, because it's so hard to find games on those consistently, um, relative to the others anyway. Yeah, so I thought to burn some time uh, between those while waiting for games, then I will open up a Q&A channel, and, because I used to do these Q&A videos, and then they started taking way too long, and answering them in the... Discord server itself was also a pain. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'll combine them into laddering videos. So I'm finally getting around to that. What do you mean sigh? What are you sighing about? You. All right, well, I'm going to go to this thing. And Stealth Rock. Do I even need to? Yeah, no, it can't hurt. It never hurts to be cautious. And But I'll look for another game anyway. Oh, someone also asked uh, in the comments of my uh, Gen 9 Ubers laddering video, Hey, uh, where does that name come from? And the, the you know, French savvy among you. Uh, and the answer is that it is not just me being crass. It is the title of an incredible film, what else, uh, that I saw recently. I had the privilege of seeing it, not just in a theater, but seeing it for the first time in a theater. And it's three hours and 40 minutes long. And it was amazing. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So, uh, very high, uh, highly recommended film if you like French stuff and you like, you know, sad, moping, black and white, and, uh, well, if you like a lot of things, but it's a, it's great, and I will not f drop a fully-fledged movie review now because I have two games going on, but yeah, I really liked it. I'll just zen headbutt because it's mega Metagross, not just regular Metagross, so, like, what's it gonna do to me? Uh, cool, yeah. I mean, I guess theoretically CB could still pose a threat, but yeah. I'm gonna lead off with Thunderous anyway, because Thunderous is so good. People wanted to ban Thunderous in, um, in, what's it called? In XY, and then everyone kind of forgot about it. <laughs> uh, what do I go? Yeah, I'm gonna go to this thing, because it's got physical defense and Rocky Helmet and T-Wave, so I can punish it all sorts of ways. Oh, no, it doesn't have T-Wave, but it does have Foul Play. And, uh, EQ won't KO me. That Brick Rate did a lot, but that's because it's boosted by Tough Claws. Wow, that did a lot, but... Yeah, awesome. So now it will just spike, just to... Oh, no! Well, okay. Fine. Uh, I don't know why I'm complaining, because... 
<laughs> of all the things, yeah. Anyway, this, uh, I lose my helmet, but now I'm gonna- Oh no, why did I spike? I forgot to get some magic bounce. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm gonna flash cannon. Oh, good, I'm actually glad it, um... Well, foul play is gonna destroy it now because of the attack boost. But no, actually, it might- it's still resisted, and I did just get a defense drop on the flash cannon. So, I will not risk it. Oh, that was really silly. I actually think Mega Absol has a lot of potential in Oris. I think, uh, I mean, it's hard to make work because it's, you know, got a lot of issues, of course. But, yeah, and I'm gonna sacrifice this to get the sp Oh, no. Okay, go for another SD, I dare you. I really hope you do. Okay, well, this is about to get obliterated. And, it, and if not, then it's not strong enough to actually threaten, so... Great. Uh, what should I go to? Thunderous? I don't even... This thing might not even... No, I'll just go to Manaphy. No sense messing around. Because I can always Healing Wish to it. Because Healing Wish is crazy good. Okay, wow. That, why did that do so much? Well, I'm glad I didn't risk Thunderous getting Flare Blitzed. Because I started to think that Foul Play didn't do so much, so the Talon Flame isn't that strong. So it's... Um, now I'm going to just take it... Play it safe here. Uh, actually, that Heatran's gonna be kind of a pain. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll Ice Beam this. Hopefully it does. I was gonna say, I was gonna cancel it in T-Wave, because no way it stays in it, and then I remembered it's lower ladder, so. Alright, is this gonna... be Scarfed or something? Or Yachi Berry? Well, I'm fine with that, because that just makes it easier for everyone else to gang up on the, um... On the, I'm gonna T-Wave, just in case it's like Sash or Yachi or something. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, because it makes it easier to gang up on the uh, Heatran with Thunderous and Metagross, if it is, in fact, uh... Oh, no, it was just, it was just trying to get sacrificed, despite there being a Bisharp and Heatran there. I... I miss Low Ladder. Yeah. That's, that's how I feel about it. Anyway, this has uh, HP, Fire, and Colber Berry. And... Yeah. That is cool. So now I'm going to T-Wave it. Actually, that's not really a good reason, because this gives him an opportunity to um, SD, but I, you know... I did it anyway. <sighs> Perhaps foolishly. And now I'm going to go to... Yeah, no, now I'm going to Superior... Because it's useless against Heatran, and I would rather try to, you know, fight Bisharp with it. Well, I, sh I should just sacrifice, um, Latias to make sure... But, you know, I like having the Latias sacrifice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little risky. I wish I had Rocky Helmet on Superior, but I really love Koba Berry on it. Just, there's very little more, sa very little, um, more satisfying than withstanding a Tornadus Hurricane so easily, and... And getting a free win against Mono Fighting. <laughs> Oris Ladder sure is interesting. Alright. Uh, okay, well that's also an interesting thing that Mega Metagross destroys. Cause, well, Mega Metagross destroys even OU teams, but you know. Alright, cool, we're moving along nicely. Oh no, we got Specs Volt switched on. Oh, and Fair one's gonna come in. Ooh. Wow, I got played really hard there. <laughs> if this goes to Espeon on Stealth Rock, I'm gonna be really mad. It would even make sense, because, okay, because, like, it beats Hammer Arm and stuff. But no, not quite. Um, okay. Now I'm gonna Hammer Arm just to weaken it for Manaphy. Great. And now I'm gonna go to Superior and start annoying everything. Maybe I should even go for... No, I don't want to get T-waved. I was going to say, maybe I should just start boosting with Leaf Storm on the Snorlax or something, but... Mm, that would have been nice, but now I'll just go to... Actually, this starts cursing. I'm legitimately in major trouble, so I have to knock it off. <laughs> Alright, well, if it doesn't have Lefty, so I can muscle my way through it after, and I'll Rocky Helmet it and stuff. Very cool, and I'll foul play, and yeah. Or if it's like Curse Rest or something, and I'll just boost on it with Manaphy while it's asleep. Oh no, why'd I do that? I forgot. 
keep uh, this lower this lower ladder magic bound stuff is starting to get on my nerves. Also, Jolteon is unironically threatening, and that makes me very upset. God, that that does way too much. <sighs> All right, this uh, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why that was done, but I am taking that extra spike. I really need it. Yeah. I'm taking the second, too. Well, maybe I should give it to... No, I'm, I'm taking the second. Great. Okay, that's good. Now what do I go to? Hmm. The superior, yeah, superior lives. Okay, that's important. Um, because superior is actually very threatening, so I should preserve it. I think I I'm gonna preserve it and then healing wish to it. In fact, and then I might just be able to sweep. This is a lot of thought being put into <laughs> a game against this team. But yeah, I'm gonna healing wish and then uh. Then, yeah, I think Jolteon's probably going to come and inspect Shadow Ball me or something. Oh, no, it's just going to be Snorlax, okay. Um, I'll Thunder Wave just to see. Okay, it is going to... I should I should have just Healing Wish right away, but it's it's fine. I'm so I'm uh, so used to DPP Healing Wish, where um, I get attacked on the Switch, but that would have been nice. If this Sleep Talks, okay. I actually have to keep Superior healthy, because otherwise a Specs Jolteon Thunderbolt is going to sweep me. Good lord, that's horrifying. <laughs> Good news is, if I can you know, withstand the Jolteon, I, I should win. But yeah, I should have uh, gone... Good lord, that is way too bulky. Okay, well, I can't take a hit with this, so i got to go to Thunderous. And Focus Blast... Okay, at least that hit. So now I go to this thing. I tail glow. Hopefully this rests. So then I can blast my way through it with superior after. Or I can just take it out now. Cool. Yeah, I might actually lose to that Specs Jolteon. That's, that was so stupid. Good lord. That was unbelievably dumb of me. So it's gonna. Actually, if he's smart, he can uh, just go to Tropius. Oh. Thank God. I was gonna say, Volt switching into Tropius guarantees it. Also, I was really regretting my decision to not invest in a Wackenberry on this thing, but I like Lum. Uh, Volt switch to Tropius because that prevents Superior from getting free Leaf Storms. Oh my God, that was. Ugh. If this has to be on a scarf, I still lose, actually. But I have to Leaf Storm it. I can't risk not being, um... I can't risk uh, not getting the boost and losing to... to Tropius. I still might lose to Tropius, honestly. I don't think plus 2 HP Fire is going to KO, and then Air Slash would KO me in return. Thank- oh my god, I cannot believe I just got bailed like that. Okay, to, in fairness, that might have KO'd, but I also don't care to find out. If I had missed Leaf Storm here, I would deserve it. <laughs> I can't believe I spiked on the stupid, um, on the Espeon. Good god, yeah, I, I did a lot of that to myself. Um... Why did I Zen headbutt the Jolteon? I was just looking at what I could have done. Why did I, why did I not Stealth Rock on the first turn? That was really stupid of me. Why like why did I need to hit the Jolteon at all costs? Rocks. Was Espeon coming in there? Yeah, that was that was really bad. <laughs> Good lord. I need I need some redemption after that. That was shockingly uh, shocking. Um Alright, well, more low ladder shenanigans, and Manaphy looks pretty good against everything, and with Healing Wish you get two Manaphys. I remember, I think ABR and Star had this one team with like two Healing Wishes, 
for Manaphy. And then I was inspired by that, and I think I made one with three. <laughs> it was like Latios, Clefable, and what was the third? Uh, what could it have been? Wonder if that healing wish poke is somewhere in my. I I I might have been Jirachi, I guess. Or La La Punny is the Mega. That might have been it. That makes more sense because Jirachi is kind of eh. But yeah, La I think because I think you can make good uh, Manaphy uh, La Punny teams. You know, you gotta make sure to fit a good steel in there. But oh, is that Storm Drain? Yeah, it is. Okay, fine. Um, and yeah, you gotta get that steel in there. But you can definitely make good Manaphy La Punny offense. Then you have like Manaphy Latias Clefable. Uh, Lop Honey, you know, your steel, whatever that is. Alright, well, this game is going, is off to a good start. Doesn't have uh, some of those Pokemon that can randomly. Why? Why? I was just gonna say that it doesn't have those Pokemon that can randomly screw you up like, um. Like, uh, an Espeon, but. Oh, and I was like, why did it do so much? And then I realized I gave it the boost. Also, why is it not switching out of Mega Metagross? That is obnoxious. Fine, you know, if it's if it's gonna toxic my Manaphy, I'm just gonna lum tail. I don't even know why I switched out in the first place. I guess just uh, so I don't necessarily. Well, now I have rock. Okay, great. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm going to tail glow to plus six because I don't think I'm gonna need to. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Well, okay, I don't. The other reason was I don't know if plus three KOs a Spadef Cradilly. Because Cordelia is really bulky. But on the other hand, I should have just been like, uh, come on, click the button. Oh my god, I am really getting screwed up by dumb stuff. Um, well, thankfully that Scarf Toge... Thankfully that Jolteon decided it really needed to HP Ice or uh, my Superior Switch in the last one. And thankfully that Togekiss didn't decide... And thankfully that faster Milotic didn't use Haze. Why is it so fast? Wow, my adventures on the Oris Ladder are already really something. <laughs> or however many games in. Alright. Are the what are the interesting questions in this QA channel? What hidden power do you have? I don't Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I'm remembering why I stopped answering the QAs. <laughs> no, I, I I don't mind silly stuff like that. It's just uh, I'm making the laddering video because I'm tired and I don't want to think too much. So if I have to think of stuff like, oh, well, I would be HP fire because I usually drop my speed IV. Like, what does that even mean? You know, stupid stuff like that. Uh, okay, well, we're facing a real team here. So that's actually, that's very nice. It's also very nice that this real team has nothing in the way of hazard removal. So my spikes are going to be nasty. Thunderous is a threat. As long as I'm good about, um my rocky helmet thing and Metagross's health and thunders is thunder wave then and, and manaphy's health then uh, la punny shouldn't sweep i don't know what's leading off but manaphy does pretty well against everything okay that's good yeah i can just e-ball sa okay sash oh it's dd all right well it's gonna go for like knockoff or something do I... I kind of want to keep... Yeah, no, I'm going to keep, um... I'm going to... Good God, that did so much. Yeah, I want to keep, uh, man... Or, not man, he's Klefki's health for the lap honey, so... Wow, that was really strong. I mean, I guess it is CB Crawdon damage, but still, Crawdon never fails to amaze with how, um... Ridiculously powerful it is. Alright, we'll pop that timer on. Yeah, Crawdon is extremely cool. Alright, there's the Serp. I will go to Latias and T-Wave and hit either the Clefable or the Heatran. Oh, it's Leech Seed. Oh, that's 
super obnoxious. Alright, well it might sub, which is really annoying, but that's why I'm going to go to Metagross because it can uh, take this on fairly decently. I'm going to Zen. Yeah, it's not spamming Leaf Storms yet. So I'm going to I'm gonna get Rocks just because they're going to be useful, and then I can pivot back. Actually, no, I can use Thunderous for this because of Pryo T-Wave. So I can... Okay, that's great. That's that's really good. Um, actually, no, I'm going gonna, I, I, gonna to Hammer Arm this. I'm afraid it's going to be Scarf or something dumb. But it's... Uh, I mean, it should be Scarf Lando. Okay, good. Yeah, I was going to say, I need to... I want to wear it down just to help Thunderous, uh, potentially. Alright. So just uh, getting a lot of... Spread damage there, that's cool, and now I'm going to Thunderous on, you know, Rocks or U-Turn, fine. Thunderous is pretty, pretty decent at least against more or less everything, which is awesome. I, I'm a big fan of Thunderous. You know, this team of mine, I really like it, I brought it to a lot of tournament battles. Uh, and, you know, sure, it has its flaws, also, haha, that cool Fable doesn't have Magic Guard. Although, maybe it's a purposeful unaware clef, I don't know. I don't know Agent 48, I don't know what they've been through. I, I do know that that is a, uh, an extremely spadef clef, so I'm going to T-Wave it, just to you know, do annoying stuff like that. And now I'm going to go, well no, I don't want to have Klefki get too weakened, because again, Lopani, but I do want spikes, because they're going to be useful for pretty much everything. Mm-hmm. Well, I think the play is going to be to get Superior in somehow. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to go to Metagross here. On the Great. All right, I'm going to scare this thing out. I don't know if Heatran or Lando is going to come in. Either way, I think I'm going to go back to Thunderous and just see, see what happens. Oh, it's going to protect... Okay, so it's Wish, Protect, Flamethrower, Moonblast. Alright. I'm going to go to Superior then. And I'm going to... Knock off... Wonder... Okay, that burn's not wonderful. I know it's full parried, but... At least it's not uh, getting lefties at this point. Alright, well... I think what I'm going to do, actually, is go to Latias... And... Actually, no, it's unaware. I can't boost on it with Manaphy. This is actually such a pain. I'm going to go to uh, Klefki and... Oh, that's obnoxious. I was going to say uh, Flash Cannon. I know I'm, I'm starting to run out of ways to handle um, the Lop Honey. I'm going to Spike. It's like... I... Okay, good. And now I'm going to Flash Cannon. Good lord, this unaware clef is actually giving me such such massive pains. Good news is Manaphy is still really threatening because it's just so bulky. Alright, good. L that Lando's getting smacked really hard. Hmm. I don't think it's quite in bullet punch range. But I do know that... Now I'm going to sack land, uh, Serp here. Oh, great. That's really good. I get a very free uh, Leaf Storm here. I don't know what that Toxic was aimed at. Thunderous, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to just... Because if Heatran comes in, then I'll, it'll get worn down, and that's fine. Serp here is very expendable at this point. Alright, Superior getting worn down itself. No, I'm going, I'm, yeah, I'm saving this as a sacrifice. I'm going back to Latias. God, that did a lot of, oh, it's Life Orb. No wonder. Why? <laughs> Why? Why is it Dragon Pulse of all things? Oh, God, Latias is going to clean my clock. Well, or not Latias, Lop Honey. 
Um, but Thunder still can threaten Thunder Wave, so I am going to have to do a very unpleasant dance around that. Well, at least, uh... Well, I mean... Actually, even if my set is known, the Clefable is going to take hazard damage, a weird sentence to say. And, um... And it's going to be a range of uh, Zen Headbutt, so... Actually, I guess maybe if... Actually, no, it doesn't even matter if I'm minus one, because it's unaware. Actually, funnily enough, its best ability in this situation specifically would be Cute Char... Well, no, it would be Magic Guard, obviously. Uh, taking it back, but it's non-Magic Guard ability, because that would mean I would retain my minus one. Whereas if it is unaware, then it is going to still um, take the damage it would have taken beforehand. God, actually, that Heatran is going to be such a pain. Well, I'm glad I T-waved that clef. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if Heatran or Lopunny are coming in here. I, I Part of me really wants to preserve Metagross just because it's... Okay, yeah, well. Now, Serp gets sacrificed, of course, and I threaten that Pryo T-wave with Thunderous. If I were playing someone else... Because now I don't know, because, like, Life Orb... Oh, wait, I, I just noticed. It's Subseed Life Orb. What is that? Okay, I think this uh, clef is in uh, Magnet T-Bolt range, and it's not like I really can afford to switch around it much, so... The bigger question is, what do I do against this Heatran, because... Well, if it's Scarf, I think I'm toast anyway. No, yeah, I definitely am. Because if I T-Wave a Scarf Heatran, my only hope is to full para. Um, but, actually, I might be toast either way, which really... Well, theoretically, I could... I could, uh, lit no, no, Metagross doesn't live high jump kick. I could, like, bullet punch crit. That's pretty much it against La Pony. But... Yeah, I think I have to... Yeah, because the problem is... If I KO Heatran with, um... With Metagross... Then La Pony comes in, high jump kicks, which is going to kill Thunderous at this point. And then I would need a full para on Thunderous. Or on La Pony with Thunderous in order to beat it. So what I think I have to do is hope for a full... Like a couple of full paras with... With <laughs> with Thunderous now. I mean, this might not be the most mathematically way... How did that kill? I think it actually is Scarf, hilariously. Um... Yeah, well, na now it doesn't really make much of a difference. That, yeah, that must be Scarf Lava Plume or something. Wow, that did nothing. Alright, well, what is that item? Alright, well, we're taking an early loss here, which I don't care for. Did I, I think, I feel like I used to have this rule where, like, if you lose the first, if you lose, go on, switch to another tier. Because this, that was frustrating. Caps GG. I, I want to believe that was in good faith. Because, like, in the tournament setting, if you caps GG, then, uh, then it's like a, it's kind of a dick thing to say. Alright. Well, I'm gonna assume that this was a ladder caps GG and not a tournament, you know, uh, rubbing it in your face kind. Um, yeah, if you all caps GG in a tournament, I, I don't know how well known this is, but it's either, like, you just beat somebody and you really want to rub it in their face, or you just, you know, you think you got hacked really badly, and you want to let your opponent know that it was not, in fact, a GG. Uh, okay. So here we've got... a bunch of stupid stuff. Good lord. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with Thunderous because it's never a bad choice. Although I think I might go to Metagross after. Well, this might have red card anyway. Yeah, I should probably, since it's low, I'm very low on the ladder, I should probably be doubling up just so I can move ahead quickly. Alright, well. Actually, it's gonna. what's going to be good is uh, my Metagross is going to be clear-bodied. This actually, when uh, Sticky Web was ripping up Sun and Moon early in the generation, then Mega Metagross, you would not Mega Evolve your uh, Metagross for a while because of Clear Body. But it's not quite the same here because I don't have that instant 360 or 350 speed. 
Alright, well, the black and white ladder is uh, imposing as ever. I'm just gonna super click through this one. Woo, Mammoth Swine is probably gonna stay in. I don't even have CC, I have EQ because of Tentacruel. Um, great, alright. Spikes going down. I'm gonna KO that Starmie with Spikes. And then I'm gonna go to Metagross. Alright, well, cool. This Dusclops gets taunted. Great. And now I go to Metagross and Rocks. So, Max Hazards. Wow, that Stone Edge did a lot of damage. Anyway, this... Oh, Tailwind, interesting. Alright, well, I don't think I'm going to be making much use of um, Clear Body anymore. So I may as well just Hammer Arm and do a lot of damage. And, you know, pretty much sacrifice Metagross in the process. Oh, cool. It's a nice, super effective Hammer Arm, and... But now it's gonna just uh, spike again or something, or or not. I guess it does kind of roost stall, yeah. Hmm. Fine, I'll go to thunderous. Max hazard. Thunderous actually rips, rips everything up, so that's really nice. Well, I'm gonna stall some turns of uh, of tailwind here by t-waving if it wants to stay in and sacrifice itself. Oh, but that works against the shuckle as well. Takes an extra turn. I just realized I'm facing Brick Break Dusclops. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's Thunderous. Alright, this... Hmm. No, I can, I can go to this thing. I can go to Klefki. And Magnet... Wow, actually, no, that was stupid. Because I have to, uh... If I get Fire Punched... I'm gonna Magnet Rise in case it EQs. Because if it... If it EQs, that would KO me. Fire Punch, I might live. Okay, I guess it does. It's aerial ace, and it doesn't matter either way. All right, Arcanine, cool. Yeah, wow. Well, I'm gonna foul play on that. Uh, on that. Oh well, I. I guess it really is low ladder because I don't think they know how foul play works. <laughs> uh, okay, here comes Sceptile. I thought it was contrary or superior for a second, so I was like, oh no, it's gonna get a Leaf Storm boost. And I don't think that they know that, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, well, uh, the Superior is slower than, what's it called? Terrakion, which it should not be. Or the Sceptile, did I say Superior again? Well, Superior also shouldn't be. But yeah, now this Metagross, I'm still Magnet Risen, and this is going to get obliterated. Yeah, L lower tier ladder, or low ladder is always so interesting. Uh, can the next piece of music play, please? Oh, it was still the same one. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, that was an interesting one. Now I just T-wave the Beedrill, and that's the game. There's this Gyarados. What does this do? Died a... Yeah, okay. Alright, let's fire up another one. Another Gen 6 one, because I'm still trying to get some sense of redemption. Let's switch teams up, too. Let's go with this, uh... Should I do the rain? No, let's go with this team, because I like this team. Cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't even make fun of uh, the lower ladder because of that uh, very, very silly loss to the sub-life orb... Leech Seed, Dragon Pulse Superior. Oh, I'm gonna see that in my nightmares. Uh, this might have Icicle Spear. Okay, never mind, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, I should really get through these automatically, but I guess the entertainment value is watching me stumble through these. Look at Rocky Chomp doing, doing amazing things. Uh, and I'll get another Gen 5 one. Oh, I don't even have will o -Wisp on this, that's hilarious. Well, I'll just Hydro. I hope Garchomp comes in or something, so I just... No, I'll, I'll click Hydro Pump. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, well, foolish me. 
I don't think HP Ice would have KO'd though. Oh, Captain gets water absorbed. That's fun. Alright, well, I'm gonna just go to this thing and Hurricane. Spiky Shield, I see. Well, actually, U turn would be just as fine because there's, uh, because it's quad weak. But I didn't get Spiky Shielded. Oh, wow, that did a lot. Cool. Yeah, let's see, we're not getting a lot of Gen 4, 5 games. So, you know, we'll fire up Gen 4 and we'll use this team that I just made the video on. All right, well, let's find out if, uh... All right. Let us find out if this Gengar is Scarf or not. It is not. And it has no item, apparently. All right, so I'll BP that. And this Fortress is gonna... Oh, no, okay. Great, well, this is going wonderfully so far. We're going to go back to Rose, get T-Spikes. Actually, this is going to stay in, I bet. No, it's not. Okay, great. Quag is poisoned. Now everything's scary. Alright, Infernape comes in. It's not going to KO me unless it's Scarf, but why risk it? I've already had uh, one goofy experience with some lower tier nonsense. Oh wow, that didn't KO. I should have EQ'd by the way, I don't know why I didn't. Just because I like the, cl the feel of clicking Dragon Tail probably. Alright, there's a Latias, that's annoying. Is it going to have lefties? No it's not, that's very helpful. Hopefully it doesn't trick my Zong. I mean Zong is kind of not good against um, this kind of team anyway, but it's more the annoyance of... I hope it stays in. Oh, there's Gengar. It's more the annoyance of... Um, Giving the Latias lefties, although it's, it's Heatran Fire Blast still looks very threatening. Hmm. Okay, I think we gotta go to. Well, Roserade's useless at this point, and I don't want to risk Heatran getting Focus Blasted on the switch. So we'll sacrifice that and now start unloading the Fire Blasts, which Toast Gengar, Skarm, Fori, and Latias doesn't like it either. Although I don't really have a great switch into this Latias now. Hopefully it doesn't recover. It, it does have Trick Recover. Come on, what generation are you playing? Alright, good. I'm going to Dragon Pulse it now. And then it should be much less of an issue. Great, alright, that's wonderful. Yeah, and now I just stay in because Scarf and, yeah, Scarf Rocks Heatran rules. Alright, great. Now I'll go to this thing, Thunderbolt it, just because I don't want to mess around with it staying in and doing something stupid. And I don't really care if Quag switches into it, because then I just follow it up with a nice Life Orb Shadow Ball. And it's, of course, poisoned. Or, in the case of Hippowdon, a Life Orb Hydro Pump, which just drops it. <laughs> that's great. Also, Gengar is getting worn down now by the sand, so that's very good. And I'll just sacrifice my... Very useless Bronzong, I'll just go for Specs HP Ice, yeah. And I'll actually do very good damage to the Skarmory because it's clearly physically defensive, which is amusing. I'll go to Rotom because I can Pain Split, and I mean here I'll just go for Draco Meteor because it destroys everything, including that, uh... Okay, it doesn't quite destroy that, but it's fine, because now I'm just gonna go to Rotom, and I'm gonna T-Bolt and everything will get... Wow, that just dropped. That was satisfying. Ugh, now I feel like I know what I'm doing again. <laughs> ah, nice double switch there. But now I will go to Latias and unleash a trick. And if I get um, Gengar's Life Orb, I'm fine with that too. But yeah, that's, that's what we're going for. So now we just spam Dragon Pulse till the cows come home and get a game in Gen 3. Just to have a little bit of everything. Alright, a Gengar lead. I will Psychic that with pleasure. Alright, I don't... 
I don't know where that came from, but sure. I don't know where Swampert is. Okay, I, I, I'm making the mistake of thinking about low ladder doing stuff. Okay, yeah, that ha that is a special attack invested muddy water Swampert. We're... Yeah, viability is not... I mean, muddy water, hey, accuracy drop. Not exactly pleasant to, to deal with. Uh, what should I use here? Oh, I like this team. This team's fun. Oh, this, okay, revenge. Good. I I am going to get revenge on this. And I'm going to lead off with Diancie, which is a threat. Well, I know that the... Well, I, I can deal with the Sash... Uh, the Sash, uh, DD, Crawdon, yeah. God, that Swampert hits hard. It's annoying. Is this Bold Blissey? Yeah, it is Bold Blissey. That's really invested. Good God. Alright, I'm gonna pivot to... Well, what am I pivoting to? Well, I got some more lefties on that, so that's helpful at least. But I'm gonna have to, like, stall its EQs or something. At least it crit the muddy water and not the EQ. Alright, I'm gonna have to go right to... to this thing and just power whip. Maybe I should've let off with it. Yeah, so it couldn't DD for free, and I could get hazards on most other things. God, it does so much. Alright, wonderful. Oh no, my accuracy. Well, now I'm gonna wish. Good. This thing is really crit happy, isn't it? How much did that what that muddy water do? Did it do 30? It did do... It can KO Skarmory here. So I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to go for my accuracy weakened uh, seismic toss. And good, because muddy water, well, drops my accuracy again. But now I'm going to go back to Skarmory and hope that an EQ is coming. Oh no, it didn't. Alright, well, back to Blissiness. And now I just beat the Swampert. Yeah, this is thrilling gameplay. But we're just easing back into it, so it's fine. Uh, what's going to come in? What set is this? This is something weird, I think. I'm going to go to this and hope it doesn't do anything obnoxious like Stone Edge. Actually, Taunt Talonflame kind of rips, which is nice. I just got to get up rocks and you know do stuff with the hazard game. Alright, cool. Oh, a Heracross, that's obnoxious. Kinda wanna go to T-Tar just to get the scent. <laughs> but that's silly. I hope it doesn't sub. That would be unfortunate. Uh, no, I'm just gonna go to Jirachi and Psychic. Oh, an Umbreon. What is that gonna do? Hmm, it's actually a little bit annoying, because I don't know if it's gonna, like, mean look or something. I don't... Uh, I'll go to T-Tar. T-Tar is fairly riskless. Okay, it's gonna confuse Ray. Alright. Alright, that Heatran is not of lefty, so that's really good. I wonder... What is that set? Seriously. Alright, this is a very cool Jirachi, and it's gonna HP fighting that Umbreon. So sweet. Sorry for the notifications. I'll, I'll fix them. As soon as my music comes back. Oh no, my Shadow Ball drop. Anyway, CB Tar is sorely forgotten, and I'm just gonna Brick Break because this thing's definitely staying in. If Heracross comes in on my CB Brick Break, I'm gonna be upset. Alright, that's very satisfying. Alright, the Ski Train's being stalled out of Lava Plume. Classic, uh, classic Talon Flame. There we go. Alright. I'm tempted to... Yeah, actually, I am just going to spam CB Brick Break and wear this thing down. Oh, Sunny Day Skarm. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I keep waiting for the Lando to come in, but I don't think it has a rock move, so... Yeah, I just want to spam CB Brick Break here just to, to wear it down for Arrow, and then that'll be it. Alright, I don't think this uh, thing is going to... I'm going to force it to reveal Stone Edge. Oh, it does have Stone Edge. Okay. Well, 
So I, I'll get my spike now, and that's going to be great. Look at CV Brick Break Targo. Yeah, nothing Rockslide couldn't have accomplished, but you know, you know what I'm getting at. Anyway, switching into this heat train is now going to be irritating because actually I have to take a bathroom break in a second, and I got two games going. Oh, that's going to be uh, tough. I can I can hold it for a sec. You sh you shouldn't hold off going to the bathroom if you can help it though. It's not good for you. Anyway, I got to I have to perform the obnoxious task of switching into lava plume, which is never pleasant. I'm going to I was thinking about sacking Kieran B for a second, but then I was like, I want that just to help out with Superior before I can spin. But um yeah, I'll just spam Scald here. Very safe. Oh, there's a Sceptile. Okay, I wonder what that's going to do. I have a slow arrow in a, in a game against a Sceptile. I hope I don't regret that. Although, it does mean it does have a lot of special defense EVs, so. Well, the Clefable gets burned, and now, hopefully, it's just going to wish, and I'm going to get the spin off, and Talonflame will be irritating, so. Oh, I should have rocked. Yeah, I really should have set up rocks there, because it, um... On protect, and then I can spin after. That would have been really cool. But I'm a little incapacitated. All right, now I go to T-Tar, set up sand, and spam double edge and game. Oh, cool! It got a nice instant flamethrower burn. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll get my mega off with Diancy and Moonblast and destroy. Arrow, and yeah, cool. Oh, and I was faster anyway. Awesome. <laughs> God, that does absolutely nothing. And it, it well, I, I guess unaware means that I don't get the, um, the, uh, the drop. And, you know, they protect for extra burn damage, so thank you. I'm gonna take that bathroom break now. <laughs> All right, uh, Lando, I'm going to protect, see if Scarf, then, you know, I, um, what, what am I trying to say? If it's not Scarf, then it won't, uh, outspeed Diancy. So, and if, you know, it is Scarf, then it's locked to a move. That was, I think I mentioned that in a video recently, forcing those kinds of, like, it's not quite a catch-22, but it's the same general principle where uh, you can make your move uh, based on the knowledge that your opponent is, you know, if they're choice, then it restricts them. You know, I, I mean, besides the obvious, like, uh, yes, choice moves lock you in, like, in the sense that they cannot outspeed you and switch their move, so you can structure your plan around that. Um, it's a very nice, simple way of doing things. Uh, yeah, I don't r quite want to risk this thing staying in in Stone Edge. I don't think it is, but I have a, a double there. Okay, that's not great, but I'm going to... I don't want this thing to get, um... I don't want Talon Flame to deal with rocks. Or, um, Kiram B, for that matter. So I'm willing to let Diancy get, uh... Potentially burned, but that doesn't happen. And I also have Earth Power, so I don't even have to risk not KOing it with Diamond. Oh, it's Shuka Berry. Interesting. Well, I think it's eviscerated. I think the Lando definitely is Scarf, so. Alright, the threat here is, of course, Superior. La Pony, not real. I mean, theoretically against a Poison Slowbro, but... Um... Oh, wait, no, no, the Superior... This is the dumb... I, I keep forgetting I have a hard counter to this. Actually, and, um... Talon... I keep forgetting Talonflame. Yeah, Talonflame is amazing against junk like this. 
So, yeah, Talonflame is going to rip this one up. Very cool. Alright, let's get another game with Gen 5. Let's go in order. And, um... Yeah, let's just get another... These fast-paced teams. I have a couple bulky teams. They are obviously more consistent for ladder. But, you know, it's also not as fun. You know, like, yes, okay, you, if someone, like, ladders to the top spot, you know, with a very bulky team, it's like, okay, congratulations, it's very easy. It's just... It, I mean, not to downplay anyone's skill in doing so, but it's just a more automatic process against a lot of teams and players that are... You you uh, get more wins by virtue of your team than you do with offense. And, you know, if we're doing this for fun, then it should be with more fun teams. And this team is bulkier, but it's also got, you know, cool stuff like um, Kieran Black. So, not to say that, you know, in this series we cannot use bulky stuff. But, you know, uh, gotta, gotta mix it up. All right. Gen 5, nothing doing. That means we go for Gen 4, and we'll try something else. We'll go with this team, which I like. Uh, what do we sack? We'll sack. Actually, we probably should have... It doesn't matter between, um... Kieran Black and Diancy. Both of them kind of... I guess Mega uh, Diancy forces... Uh, potential... High, it, it doesn't matter either way, because of, um... Because of Slowbro and Talonflame, so... Alright, Gen 4, nothing doing. We'll go back to Gen 3. And use... I have to clean up these. But yeah, we'll just use that again because it's cool. Alright, I'm very glad got some revenge for last time. Oh, that was... <laughs> Still, stupid, stupid Crawdon. Alright, if Gen 3's not doing either, then we'll go for another Gen 6 one. That's probably the most active just by virtue of... Um, by virtue of... What do you call it? Being uh, the most modern generation, we got yeah, we've been getting games here very consistently. So that's good. Uh, what are we getting here? Yeah, I'll just lead off and hopefully not get flame body chandelured or something silly. And uh, while we're doing it, we'll get another Gen Five one. Oh, timer should be on. This has flame body, I'm gonna be upset. Oh my god. Uh, well, I have heal bell, so it could be a lot worse, but at the same time. <laughs> come on, you know. Alright, well, this is gonna be. Actually, that star me makes it so I don't get free easy rocks, but I don't really need it. It's just slightly annoying. Uh, do I. I'm just gonna lead off with Trachyon anyway. There aren't really any good switchings to it. Oh, great. That Scrappy's gonna stay in. Um, all right, now we will T wave just to play it safe. Yeah, because that chandelier stays in, because of course it does. That's gonna be a very satisfying heal bell later. All right, now I'm gonna T wave again on the Sylveon. It's probably gonna heal bell itself, but that just gives my extra drill free rocks. Dude, why are you okay? Oh, it's DD Drain Punch. Okay. No, well, I'm going to taunt so it doesn't DD again. Not that it really matters if I'm sending Breloom in to face it, but, you know. Double T-Wave works. Hopefully it full paralyzes. Yeah, okay. Be that way. I should really be using Rain to run through low ladder. Alright, well, now we just mock Punch this. Hopefully Gengar doesn't switch in and do anything dumb. Just lets us... And it's not like Choppleberry or something. Scrafty's very bulky, actually. So I could see it living, but at the same time, Breland's really strong, so... Oh, Starmie comes in. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take, uh, cowing that. Even if it means it spins, but still. Alright, Gudra's in. What do I go to against Gudra using... Lane. Actually, you know, I'll get some T-Spikes down. God, why did that do so much damage? Does that mean I'm at risk of a follow-up kill from Draco? Maybe. Eh. Nah. I'm, I'm choosing to uh, believe in... Believe in this thing. And I'm just gonna stay in Bullet Seed so Gengar doesn't sub. Alright, great. It just muddy waters. 
It might be Dragon Pulse too. All right, cool. Hopefully, actually, no, no. There's no way that subs again. It's gonna like disable or something. Yes, the ancient set. Disable, um, sub disable Gengar. All right, we're just gonna superpower. No sense SDing and messing around. I wanted to pursue, but also no sense messing around. So. All right, well that's annoying, but doable. Prod on, sure. All right, this thing should run away in terror. Metronome uh, is cool, but not doesn't quite get it done all the time. Actually, you know what? This is a, a perfect opportunity for Dragonite to DD and go bonkers. Observe, uh, well, I was gonna say this thing stalling it out, but is, is that life orb? Yeah, it is. Alright. Go paraflinch high dragon. <laughs> Alright, well. Look at, look at high dragon go. What a monster. This set is really cool. I mean, okay. Sure. I'm just gonna DD like twice more then. And just make sure. Mm, I guess maybe not twice more. I mean, but now it's at plus two, so Scarf Darm can't outspeed me. And I still have my Lum intact for confusion, so. Hmm. What can I go to here? Probably just uh, go to Superior and start making some stuff happen. Yeah, I'll just uh, knock off. Actually, no. What? Why? Why not? Uh, well, Gudra, I guess. But it could have Sap Sip. Eh. No, I'll just Leaf Storm. No sense messing around. Yeah, that is that is threatening. All right, so I don't have my multi scale with D Knight anymore, but I'm also destroying everything else, so it's fine. Look at Sir P God, what a Pokemon. Should really try like Meadow Plate on it or sometime, just to really push that uh, those Leaf Storms over the edge. And this could just be game if Snorlax is not coming in to take a hit. Wonderful. Cool, I mean, I'm not gonna kill Chansey with plus two Outrage, and that probably should've been the switch, but you know, who knows. Uh, is this... No, this is not, um... Scarfed. Yeah, it switched moves earlier. So now we have a plus six superior. Great. And we'll get another Gen 5, or, you know, filling that. Gen, uh... Gen 4 or 3. Well, just no sense risking this. And I, I want to see if that Snorlax is immunity or not. So I can form some sort of plan around it. Because actually, last Pokemon Snorlax is kind of irritating. Alright, that is an immunity lax. That is annoying. And if it starts cursing, then I might actually... Because I have to get the heal bell off with Lop Honey. Alright, maybe it's not Curse Rest Lax if it's also got Thunder Punch. <laughs> uh, I guess I can knock it off with, uh, with Superior. Alright, well... Oh, now it now it's uh, no longer. I guess it could be Curse Rest Thunder Punch, but I gotta get the Heal Bell off with Lob Honey so I can uh, high jump kick it into Oblivion. All right, well this is a team without Hazard Removal, so we'll just get Rocks up with this. All right, great. That would have potentially been irritating. <laughs> if Flame Body Chandelure and uh, and not insured. But allowed for a, or facilitated a curse rest lack sweep in in Oris OU. I, I would not have cared for that. Uh, I don't know what this Latios set is. Hmm. Starmie's not as threatening, so I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna say, all right, is this scarf? Is it not? This is just information, because well, Starmie is useful for Keldeo, but at the same time. You know, like, I, I feel like I'm going to have to play around Keldeo in other ways anyway. Alright, I'm going to spin. Or no, I'm going to uh, attack and then... And then spin. So I don't Hydro into Toxicroak with Rain up. Fortunately, that first miss didn't bite me on that re in that regard. Good. Okay, great. That's fantastic. 
Uh, what are we gonna go to here? I think the move is... Yeah, the move's De Garchomp, because it's got a Sash intact. Great. Polito did not want to risk that. Hope Latios comes in and just gets completely invalidated as a revenge killer. I, I mean, that's fine too. Um, but I kind of want to preserve this for later, and Breloom can make things happen. Because it's also got a Sash, and Bullet Seed, you know, rips uh, things up. So... Yeah, oh, I mean, that Alakazam gets absolutely obliterated. That's wonderful. Okay. Alright, there's Croak. We don't like that. But, the need for, um, Scizor, I think, has lessened a little bit. I kind of want to pursue it. <laughs> because it shouldn't stay in. Keldeo should come in. But I don't want to just bullet punch. So I'm, I'm going to superpower because it hits Toxicroak really hard and it slams Keldeo. And I can still bullet punch Toxicroak after, even at minus one. So I think it's uh, it's it's fine. Or good enough. Worst case, I can DD after. I'm not planning this nearly as uh, thoroughly as I should be, by the way. With this defined a game state. So uh, do forgive me. Oh, no, but just stayed in and drained. Okay. Well... I don't... I hope... Actually, it's Unstabbed Sucker Punch. Scizor is bulky. I'm just gonna choose to believe that... Yeah, Hydroing that Swamp... That Hippo... That's a good feeling. Great. Alright, Rest to Ugh, Stall. Great. If it was a tournament game, then, you know, very fair, but... Anyway, uh, I'm gonna Hydro this thing. Okay! I will take that. Because this looks like some old-school Stall. And it's losing all its Pokemon in the first couple turns. Okay. Alright, well that panned out nicely. I don't want this to sub. I don't think it's gonna sub. I, there's no way, but you know. Actually, Bullet Seed means that I really should have, uh, yeah. But it, it doesn't matter. Alright, well, that's funny. I guess the Latios could still mess me up, actually. Oh no, it's bulky. Okay. So what do I have to do? I think what I- no, I just- I just outrage twice, and then I live, uh, the Latios Draco with my Sash... thing. Hopefully this Weavile doesn't taunt me or something dumb. Yeah, take that. And then Garchomp wins. Okay. Alright. Gara comes in right away. This is why I like HP Electric uh, Swampert. And, uh, we're just gonna trick it. Because there's a Weavile lead, so it feels like a fairly safe move. And I got the rocks up, so. So if this is- yeah, I was gonna say, if it's Scarf Latios, it also doesn't KO a multi-scale intact Dragonite. But, yeah, Sash Chomp was the failsafe there. Cool, cool. Alright, it's locked into Ice Fang. That's wonderful. Yes, now we go to Jirachi, and just thun- Oh, good, it f it burned my Lumberry, that's pleasant. <laughs> do, do. Well, I got a Wacken Latias, that's nice. <laughs> Alright, here we got a Jirachi against a Skarm lead in this one. How long are we... Oh, it's, it's been over an hour. Alright, this is, uh... Yeah, okay. Well, this Jirachi has Psychic and is not minus special defense, so... Oh, come on. It, it lives that. Alright. Uh, well, it's not Choppeltar on this team, unfortunately. But it is, uh, Trick Iron Ball. So hopefully this thing doesn't sub. Alright, cool. Just... Just as a precautionary measure. Alright. Alright, we got a great turn one burn, and got Jirachi Fire Punch is just the stupidest thing ever. So we're just gonna keep fishing for these. Even if a Dugtrio comes in, we can freeze it with Ice Punch, because this thing lives EQ. Oh, it's got a... Next thing got a Shadow Ball. Well, I guess it could have Focus Blasted, but... I had the feeling this was like, oh, Shadow Ball is super effective on Metagross? This is a later gen. 
Yeah, so we sack, uh, we get the sand up, we sack Latias, and now Tita or uh, Swampert, sorry, takes the hit. And that Weavile is actually a threat. I have to keep Metagross healthy for it. Oh, that's really tough. <laughs> uh, okay, well, this Gengar is going to get psychic right in the face. Cool. I'm going to Fire Punch again, just because that might not even... No, it's going to KO, come on. Alright, I don't know what's happening here, but I am thankful for it. Same here with this Weavile. Oh, it's SDing, cool. I'm going to Ice Beam, just to... Just to be funny. Alright, here comes this, but I'm not really scared of it, so that's great. So we'll throw up a wish. See what's happening. Yeah, nothing like low ladder Weavile leads. That, okay, great. Now we'll go to this and get some lefties. Because whatever comes in, is gonna, if the T-Jar stays in focus, or that, you know, I'm fine with that as well. Great. Oh, a Toxic Crow. God, this... Everything on this team actually, like, is annoying to deal with. Thankfully, I can avoid, um... Sucker Punch here, thanks to Wisp. Alright, I'll take that slide so I can get a layer of spikes and then go to Swampert. It's fine. Oh, come on, please. Would you hit that wisp? That would be wonderful. Oh, that's a wonderful, uh... That's a wonderful roar. Oh, good. It's it's doing that. <laughs> oh, that's obnoxious. That's really obnoxious. I guess it doesn't have Ice Punch or something. So I should just... Stay in and keep... I'm gonna, yeah, double protect, woo! I was, I was afraid of like Ice Punch or something, but now I'm just gonna keep spamming Wisp. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. Alright, I don't know what this thing's gonna do, but I'll just go to Blissey, play it safe. Oh, that's fine, I'll just get a soft boiled. Look, look at Jirachi, Jirachi rips through this so nicely. Okay, if it's Toxic Fire Blast... Oh, it's probably the UD version of the team. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to uh, my my CB Tar, and I'm going to Brick Break, because it does that! Yeah! There you go. Even Rock Slide can't do that. And it hits, um... Whatchamacallit? Swampert Harder. And that T-Tar gets oblit... Yeah, like, mixed T-Tar does not obliterate that like that does. Uh, so I'm just gonna CB break and yeah, do that. This team could be a little better into Swamper, but who cares? Because I made it in like two seconds. Um, oh, so it did have Ice Punch. Okay, and now we just explode on this, and that's the game. Wow, what a, that was a very irritating team to face. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with this because this has a lot of physical bulk, so it can live in EQ. And you know the. Now I can definitely live in EQ. Look at that. Yeah, this has a lot of special attack investment too. And the Swamper just protected itself out of torrent range, which is very pleasant. Oh, and it, not, it crit me into torrent range, that's funny. Although, I mean, Arrow is winning this anyway. I don't want it to Giga Drain health back and do something stupid, so I'm just going to sack Skarmory. Cool. And we'll get a... Should we finish with a Gen 6 game if we can get one? That'd be a nice way to wrap things up. Maybe use a Scarful Canyon Rain that has no, uh, no Swift Swim Sweeper. Because <laughs> I forgot that they existed in the two seconds it took to build it. All right, great. Actually, maybe we should get 1100 and everything. Eh, I mean, I don't want this to drag out too much longer. Okay, great. All right, now you're about to see the power of this Jirachi, which you know beats any T-Tar lead one-on-one, -on -one, which is great. And it's, it like stays in on any Metagross too. 
So yeah, you to a kill, you live. Oh no! Come on, man. Ugh. It. The whole point is that it lives that. It lives band mens, uh, which is even stronger than Titar. Oh, that's that's so obnoxious. Well, ugh, that that is very irritating. Well, no, no matter. I'm just upset that that awesome Jirachi got robbed of an opportunity to do cool things. All right. Oh yes, I get to thief the Scarm. Wonderful. That is really good. All right, well, this is a Blaziken lead. I don't know what it wants to do. I will U-turn into Suicune. So I don't, like, Thunderbolt it into Blaze Range and it overheats or something stupid. If it's, like, Sash. I want to break that and go to this. Oh, it bulks up. Okay, well. I'm going to Drill Peck because I don't... Well, I mean, the Speed Tie would be nice, but I like the guaranteed 10%. Oh, it talks? Oh, even better. 20%. Arrow is really going to enjoy that. Well, this game's going nicely. <laughs> oh, I mean, if Arrow... Oh, no, it's going to... Is this like sub-protect... I bet it is. Sub-protect, toxic, flamethrower, arrow. Great set. Uh, I don't know why the Scyther's in here, but it's going to... Yeah, okay. I guess it could be like Swarm Bug Bite or something dumb. <laughs> Which would be really irritating. I hope it's not. Maybe this is just like a, a UU team or something. It is Swarm. Oh my god. Okay, well I guess I got a Draco Meteor. No, come on, man. That's... <sighs> yeah, cool. That yeah, that was really awesome. What a sequence of events. Oh, it's Roar Arrow. Okay, well I just soft boiled. All right. Well, there's no way this arrow is staying in, so I'm gonna double to Skarmory here. Oh, that's so so dumb. Well, this thing's not going to EQ, so I'm going to max special attack Lava Plume, and it's going to stay in and die. I'm, I'm manifesting. It's going to happen. Great. Another free series of drill pecs. Great. Oh, my God. That's wonderful. All right. Uh, well, there's an Empoleon, so so much for the UU theory. But Heatran survives because it's amazing. And now, well, it's too, it's too, I gotta preserve the health on the, uh, on the Jirachi, it's too important. So I kind of want to call my, yeah, you know what, Th this is a perfect opportunity to call mine and get, you know, a crucial boost to just start KOing things. So, you know, who knows what's, what else is there. Alright, I guess, uh, this is part, actually, you know what, I should roar here, because, um, and just drag in other pokes. Actually, no, if you want to do that, I'll drill pack. Fine. So hopefully this Jirachi just outspeeds and destroys whatever... Like, if the last is like a... It's, it's like a UU-ish team, so it could be a Venusaur. And like a Spiritomb or something. <laughs> like a Toxicroak. But I like something... Slower... Oh god, my computer's freezing. Oh, Persian. Okay. I... Sh you know what I'm gonna do? This is... I'm gonna go to Tyranitar. And I'm just gonna superpower. Why are you doing that? Okay, I'm gonna drill peck. All right, guaranteed damage. Great. I'm gonna spike on the. Oh no, that was nice. That was nicely done. Oh great, that, even the double edge crit. Oh, I forgot how much I love ladder. All right, great. Now we will just surf and destroy this arrow and... Or Suicune comes in and takes a million damage. I'm fine with that as well. Oh, no. I don't think I can beat the Zam. Oh, come on. You are... All right, this is going to para this, this uh, Thunderbolt. No, 
Nope. All right, you're gonna misclick. Or it's gonna be so slow. Actually, the Jirachi is faster than the Zapdo, so probably not. Oh, you deserve- you really deserve to get crit or para there for calm mining. Are you serious? Oh god, I, I really miss ladder, huh? Alright, well... Sure. That- oh, that was stupid. That was really stupid. What am I getting myself sucked into? I'm so glad there are so many other videos I uh, want to make. And, um, you know, so, so it's not just going to be laddering every time. Although, uh, gotta say, I don't care for the stress level this has given me. Alright, this is gonna be like rest talk or something, but I don't really have much choice. But to, uh. Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's not even, uh. Well, it's not boosted, so that's nice. Oh, it is. Oh, God. Well, yeah, this thing is kind of a insane pain. I gotta, I'm gonna have to hope for some sleep talk rolls. Yeah, I'll sack this and put it in arrow range. Yeah. All right, and now we just go to arrow and and pray. <laughs> Actually, no, a surf might even be the better. No, it's not. But I mean, I have to. I have to pray anyway, so just double... Actually, how much did... No, we, we add the rock slide into the sleep talk. Well, we got a citrus berry, Latia, so that's nice. And now we'll go to... Petran. Alright, well that's great. Oh wow, that's terrifying. Hey, there's there's Snorlax, which has immunity because it's uh, took a lot from that lava plume. Blissey and Snorlax, huh? Well, I don't know if this is gonna EQ or superpower, so I don't want to chuck. Um... But Zapdos is less useful as far uh, as long as. Uh, Blissey's alive, so I'll just, I'll gladly just throw it in to throw the big Specs T-Bolt at this thing. God, that, okay, well, nice. Oh, there's a Flygon, that's irritating. Hopefully it doesn't sub, because if it does, I'm kind of toast. Yeah, alright, that's good. Swampert is still, uh, I mean, I'm not looking great anyway, but, you know. Hopefully this just stays and it gets obliterated by superpower. Oh man, I think it might be a while before part two. I am not. <laughs> and my computer's starting to explode, which is always pleasant. I... Hopefully this just stays in and does something. Yeah, okay. Well, no, I can go for some uh, nice EQ crits on the Suicune. Maybe I could have EQ'd it on the Switch. Although it does have, it does have, yeah, if I EQ'd it on the Switch, I actually would have been in a good position. Oh, wait, I might be in a good position anyway, because that does a lot of damage. Also, that Blissey gets obliterated, that's nice. And this is a Lum Fire Blast. No! Oh, come on! Oh, and it SD'd, so I can, uh, so it can mock punch. Well, I have Jirachi, so it's fine, I guess, but. Well, I'm not gonna sacrifice the- what?! It's- are you serious?! You just dodge a fire blaster slower against and you sub on the next turn? Oh my god. Alright, well that Suicune dies, so that's wonderful. This Gengar is a pain. 
Oh, it's Wisp and not Giga Drain. Okay, I can handle that, I think. Hmm. Well, I, I, if I'm gonna have this Swampert against... Uh, oh, yes, good. If I'm gonna have this Swampert on... Um, on Gar matchup later anyway, I may as well get more damage done beforehand. Alright. <sighs> Sub SD Leech Seed. I'd love the low ladder. <laughs> All right, uh, sack this, and then force a KO with... Yeah, and force a KO with, um... With what's it called? Swampert. All right, I'm really getting some nice chip here. I want to go to Pert on the Protector. Well, no, it's not going to be Protect, it's going to EQ. Oh, great, I get three burned... C okay, I get two, fine. I did, uh, die. well, yeah, the Jirachi got crit on the first turn. What am I talking about? Alright, well, this Magnezone gets obliterated. Hope it T-waves and does nothing. Yes, satisfying. Alright, well, I will take that extra lefties on this. Also, th this Gar has to switch in here, right? Because if the Flygon dies, Arrow just wins. But I have a horrible feeling that the Flygon is going to stay in and toxic. And then stall with um, arrow, which I guess is feasible. So, yeah, just go for ice beam. I can can take a burn. You know, you could even arguably go for the route where um, God, that does a lot of damage. Where arrow comes in. Ah, uh, nah. I, I think I take the burn with pert and oh, it's debon. Oh, yeah, no, definitely go into arrow here. Alright, this is a choice scarf cur Okay, so. Fine, I'll take the free Specs HP Grass. Debond. You know what? I will absolutely take the KO here on the... Well, no, now I gotta go to the... Ah, I should have doubled. I sh uh, Ugh. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, that, that was rushed. That was rushed. Oh, that you switch out of, you... Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm winning this one anyway, but yeah. Well, I guess... Actually, no, it's not necessarily over. I don't know what that arrow set is, but it's definitely, um... Like, what, Subprotect Roar? But I mean, uh, what I mean is that, um... Arrow can still win. Oh, it's Rest Hog Roar. That stupid... <laughs> Okay, yeah, arrow can. Well, uh, it's it's too bulky, and the flag on his rock slide, making it unlikely. I can't switch out, but yeah, that's. Oh, that was really stupid of me. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna yeah, arrow here because if he decides to go the toxic route. Then, um... Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Then I reset it. Alright, well... That was really, really stupid. <sighs> and I want revenge. But also, I'm gonna go crazy if I do. I'll just get one more Gen 4 one, because th that one's actually making sense. I know as I say that, then something even stupider is gonna happen. Oh, that turn one crit, that burned so much. Because it's not just that the EQ crit the Jir uh, the Jirachi, it's that, you know, the Jirachi, it has to not get crit by Jirachi first. Not that it needed to as long as it, doesn't matter. It's fine. Oh, Sableye, that's irritating. Actually, one of the worst Pokemon to face. Um, let's lead off with Starmie then. Yeah, that's fine. Let's if I can wear down the Bronzong, then... Things like uh, Dragonite look pretty good. This is natural cure, it's not even analytic. That's irritating. Oh god, it's it's starting. I know this is what Hydro Pump does. This is this is why defensive teams are more consistent too. They don't rely on inaccurate moves. And if you don't use inaccurate moves on offense, then you don't do damage.
so it's just a very bad situation overall. But where's the fun in... F Fine, I'm getting up rocks with Tarak and making things happen, and I'll sacrifice this for a spin later. So rocks, Gyro, Light Screen, Toxic... I mean, okay, I don't really care if it uh, KOs Tarak as long as I get... I mean, if... If he's smart, then it'll go to Starmie, but I mean, I kind of doubt it based on that moveset and the way the game's been played so far. So now I'm going to go to um, Scizor, which is actually an immense threat. Please just set up a light screen or something. Do something really dumb. Oh, star- yeah, because that that's a scissor switch in, you- Well, I don't really have a better one. Oh my god. Does this have bulk? I'm gonna... Die to that. Oh, it's specs. Cool. Oh my- oh, I should have DD'd. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm losing this one anyway. I really, really hate this guy. Oh, good, I'm- I'm playing... It's probably someone on a... Oh yeah, hit hit all those Hydras, that's fine. Fine, you know what, I spin, I'm gonna win the tie. Um... Or, you know, they miss. Oh no, hit another Hydro. Now, now the Hydras are gonna start missing and I'm gonna get a million DDs and win. That's the plan. Alright, great. Oh, I should've, I should've countered! I should've, why didn't I counter? Why did I not counter? Ugh! That's, that's so, that's so dumb of me. Well, I, I don't think it would have KO, but it would have done more. That's the... Alright. Oh, it's fake. Okay, cool. Wow. Well, I'm gonna melt this thing with Outrage as it tries to burn me. Oh, I could have taunted that. Well, fine. Alright, well, I'm gonna T-Wave on the Switch now, and... God, ah, uh, I'm... Yeah, laddering. Fun. Oh, great, actually, that's really good because I get to keep my lum for this toxic. Oh, and I crit? Oh, it didn't even- I crit snap out with confusion and it doesn't even, uh, toxic. Alright, well, Heatran gets toxic, so that's pleasant. Alright, Earth Power, well, this isn't gonna want to stay in, so I'm just gonna crunch and make it think that I have a, um, okay, I guess not. Fine. Machamp comes in, that Azelf is probably Lum, and it's gonna... Well, this Heatran might also stay in because it doesn't want me subbing. Cool. Hey, I'll take it. I mean, the Azelf th threatening the boom is more obnoxious now that it can U-turn KO Jirachi. But, yeah. Alright, well, this... Hmm. So, what is the move? Is it to just sack this? Well, Jirachi actually seems pretty good now. I don't want to just get U-turned on, though, but I have a feeling that... Mm. Actually, you know, if I get U-turned on, that's uh, potentially another KO. So I think that's okay. With, uh, because I have Scarf Lucario. I mean, the Fight Resists are going to have to start showing themselves soon. I think it's going to be like Gera, Ghost, Jirachi. Gera, Jirachi, Latias, something like that. And either way, I will enjoy drawing that. I'll take the Breloom KO for sure. I might sack Latias because it's not really that needed. Well, or Garrett. Well, Garrett helps with other Gera. Alright, at least that Gen 5 game was one. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think it's going to be Jirachi. Yeah, I'll sack Machamp because it's slow. Oh, hey, that's great. I will take that for sure. Oh, there's there's a Luke. Okay. Alright, well, we don't want to give up a free KO there, so this is what we'll use Gyarados for. Yeah, that did nothing. And now there's definitely going to be a Gera on the other end, I feel like. So... 
I think the move is Latias. Oh, sweet. Hey, that. Hey, that's even better. Yeah, because uh, that bulky Az that Azov is bulky, so it's very probably. Um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll, I'm also gonna, I'm gonna have to healing wish that thing. I think. That's excellent. Oh, what, what was that call mind? Maybe if it I thought it was Scarf or something, but it's clearly Scarf Luke. So th that Luke should actually switch in here. Hey, I I will not complain. But yeah, the bulky Azelfs generally dip below Latias in speed. So I th think that co that was a nice cover for both Azelf and uh, what I thought was a Gera, but last well, definitely Jirachi. Oh, oh, it's Zapdos. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay. Well, Sc Lucario is no longer the win condition. Now it's a combination of um. Oh, it's a G oh Jesus Christ. Okay, still doable, barely, but I got a sack here. Well, the question is, do I sack, um... This is Jolly Luke, so I guess that is a speed tie at worst, but I want to keep that Intimidate. So, no, we just Ice... Okay, yeah, now this survives HP Ice, and Specs Drake goes something into the dust. What is that team? It makes me think of a time long past. Alright, well, great. Now Luke shows up. Mm, actually, no, I think the Luke's gonna clean me. Ugh, ugh, that's, that's very frustrating. Is it faster? Oh. Yeah, I, I can't stop the Luke at this point anyway. It's That was so, ugh, I, I messed that up really, really badly. Ugh. Uh. Well, I hope it stays in and does something dumb. Well, actually, this is where I sh wish I had a bullet or bulk up on uh, the thing. Um, yeah, this should just have like T punch, and then it's gonna. Yeah. Oh well, at least this game. I hope I can go out with a win on this one. Oh, just CC. Well, not that it really matters. I'll pay back the stupid A's elf and. Oh, why did I not counter? That's that's gonna what? Well, I guess it doesn't matter if the thing wins anyway. But yeah. That's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Well, speaking of, here's this thing again. But at least now I can do that. And then I can go to Specs Latias and not Scarf and threaten it. And I'll just try to get another Gen 3 one to redeem it. Oh god, I'm going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, it's over an hour and a half. Well, hey, you know, I this will be good sleep aid for uh, those of you who like to use my videos that way, which is many, uh, which I appreciate. So... And you know what? Actually, no. I take this as a positive, because uh, some comments recently were like, "Hey, I missed the longer videos because they helped me fall asleep easier." So this is for you. And uh, even if you've fallen asleep by now, and I'm just in your dreams. Oh, is Atu and a Sableye. Lots of fun. Well, if I can get the rocks with Tarak, then it's fine. Actually, no. I'm gonna Stone Edge just. Just to avoid Sableye or, uh, well, I don't care about Sableye much, but I don't want Zatu coming in on what it thinks is a CC or something. Hey, you know, I will take Stone Edging Sableye. I'll take that for sure. Well, Gyarados gets melted there. Wonderful. Did that, what did that try to do? T-Wave? Yeah, it did. Uh, I will go to Tyranitar and just Crunch. This thing's not even healing. Who knows what it is. And here, that was a Specs Volt Switch. And it HP iced. Nice move. But now I'm going to go to Scizor and pursue. Oh, wait, why did I do that? I could have set up a much better situation. I'm really losing it. Is that going to sub? Yeah, it's going to sub. It's fine. I'll break it with Surf. All right, at least I pursue this. And good. Now I BP it. I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference, but you know. Oh, it's uh, deciding to do something dumb, like Stone Edge. 
so I will hit it with the harder move of superpower. Oh, it's sleep talk. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, it KO'd. Oh, that's silly of me. Anyway. I will go to Tarak, because this either... Yes. A excellent. Okay, great. So now Jolteon... Well, Jol Jolteon has two more switch-ins, but it's not about that so much as um, the Volcarona. And Chandelure, to a lesser extent. All right, this... All right, sure. I'll preserve that. And, great. Okay, that's gonna be Scarf, I'm sure. But I have Dragonite for this. And I think Dragonite is gonna do a good job against in cleaning this up. Yeah. All right, cool. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not playing this optimally at all. Okay, second DD. Game. Thank, Thankfully that did not. I mean, I guess it could Rocky... No, 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 no. no. This, is, this is one with the next Outrage. Alright, thank goodness this uh, Tyranitar has um, Sash, so it can't sub and KO me. I don't think it's going to sub at all, though, actually. I'm going to sack Latias. May as well... Oh. Hey, you know what? I will... If it's not going to Focus Blast, I will take it. Yeah, the Rocky Helmet doesn't do enough. So. And it's... Yeah. Oh, an Entei. One was finished wonderfully, so let's see if we can finish with Gen 3 and get some redemption on that awesome Jirachi set. Oh, actually, I have to be careful. This might actually... No, no I, th I think I can do it, yeah. Uh, just sack Latios. Alright, it's not even scarfed. Great. Alright, well, I don't know what the Sceptile is going to do other than lose one on one. That does nothing because Jirachi is good. Alright. Oh god, you sub. You sub. It'll all be worth it if uh, Sceptile subs on this turn. Okay, yeah, almost. <laughs> uh, that was almost really awesome. Well, it's better than getting uh, overgrow leaf bladed, of course. What do you mean, make up your mind? Shut the hell up. Oh, it's not even... Okay, well, I will take that KO and then steal some lefties later. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Yes. I, I, I know giving up rocks is not great, but that... Oh, ye, that, worth it. Absolutely worth it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, cool. A mag cargo. That'll do about nothing. Alright, Ambipom. I will take uh, that on with Jirachi, and now T-Wave, and go to town. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm running out of, uh, of energy here to talk over this, so another sign that it's time to put this on the back burner. <laughs> 
Um, what do I sack? I'll sack, uh... Do I even need to sack? I can just go right to Latias. This is gonna... Thunderbolt. Yeah. Awesome. And now I just drop a Poke-Aim, and voila. Oh, Togeki- oh, good. Oh, that's not fun. Alright, fine. I will go to Jirachi on the T-Wave, and lum it off. Oh, or the Tri-Attack, I guess. And lum that off. And now I get the T-Wave off. All right, we got HP Fire Clay doll here because uh, I guess oh Eapapa Bear. All right, well that's hilarious. You just saw Eapapa Bear used in Gen Three back when it sucked. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. I guess I'll go to Clay doll now and HP Bug. Yeah, okay, this is getting silly. Actually, no. If it's gonna use these goofy moves, I should just go to Lucario. Actually, no. It's too, it's too physically bulky. I'll I'll deal with it like this. Actually, you know what I can do? I can um. I can healing wish to Titar. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And um, well, my sash is used up, so it doesn't really matter if it gets broken. I just want rocks and to beat this thing down. Yeah, this is where it's nice to have two healing wishes. Great. Yeah, now I can uh, stealth rock. I assume it doesn't have T wave because it didn't use it when it could have. Oh, oh, that's annoying. Hmm. You know what? I. I will go to Gyarados. I don't think I... Oh, that's... Gr <laughs> well, low ladder, you know. Silly stuff happens like this. This might get self-destructed on, so I'm gonna avoid that. And, uh... Is that also HP Fire Whaler? That's hilarious. Because if Skarm gets boomed on, who cares? And, uh... And if it doesn't, then it's weak enough for Waylord. Alright, well, I get Black Sludge, so... That sucks, but as long as Gengar goes down, because Gengar's always a pain. Oh, Gardevoir, this thing's gonna get... Actually, no, no reason to risk it. can just go to Blissey. That's an annoying Pokemon, of course. But we can just trick it. Or drop a Draco. Probably trick. Yeah, definitely trick. So even if it locks an Ice Beam, then... And it doesn't even, so wonderful. So we can guarantee a good switch here by going to... Tyran yeah, Tyranitar. I mean, Machamp would have been fine too, but Machamp can also lose health from Sand, which we don't want if we don't need. Great. And just crunch, and if it burns, it's still taking lots of damage. I got it. I'm, yeah. Fine. Okay. Future Sight. I wonder if there's any potential cool use for that move in advance. Probably. Definitely in Aorus. I like Future Sight Slowbro a lot in Aorus. Sets up some really awesome stuff. It's very easy to slap on, too. Oh, Fly plus Future Sight. A great tactic worthy of Ein himself. That's from uh, Pokemon Coliseum, for those not in the know on the best Pokemon game ever. Yeah, I think Fe Future Sight is really weak, though, pre-Gen 6. I, I think Gen 6 is when it first got uh, got the boost. Alright, well, I feel like winning 5-0 in this one for all my pain and suffering. So, we're saving T-Tar and going to Latias and dropping a Draco. Great. And... Yeah, and we are calling it there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.